Okay, so how many of you guys have something that when you see somebody doing it in the hallway or out on the street really gets you mad and you want to hit? Anybody care to share what it is? Maybe not. Okay. Anybody else? Well, my big pet peeve would be when people joke about rape. Like, you see somebody messing around with someone messing around, they're like, oh, rape, rape, rape. Gets my heart pumping, my blood flowing, and I really just want to go up and yell at them or hit them, and hit them or something, because it's not something to joke about. So today I'm here to talk to you guys about rape. Um, I'm going to warn you, there are some graphic photos and video clips that are in this presentation. If they bother any of you, you can go out in the hall, and then we'll come and get you when they're open. So, rape is defined as forced or unwanted sexual intercourse. It can be with a body part or with an object, such as a knife or, I don't know what's doing or any other object that you can insert into somebody. It can be vaginal, anal, or oral. It happens to pretty much anyone. You could be a man, a woman, married. You can get raped by your husband. And you could be single, a child, an adult, a criminal, innocent. You could be in the army, any military. You can, anybody can get raped. It happens everywhere. You may think that you're safe. I'm not trying to scare you guys, I'm really not, but you need to be aware that this can happen everywhere, and it does. Well, right here I have some videos, and they get pretty graphic, and so I'm going to warn you guys that if you need to go out in the hall again, please do so. The first one is from Last House on the Left. There is some nudity and swearing. Mm -hmm. to happen to somebody. I don't think any of us really do. And this is from American History X. This is a man being raped in a shower at a prison. Because this does really happen. I have known people who have been to prison and have seen this happen, and they are too scared to do anything about it because they're afraid it will happen to them. Okay, so every two minutes, someone is raped in the United States. That's just the United States. That's not the whole world. I could not find any numbers of, on the whole world in the rape statistics, statistics because they're just, it's too large. No one wants to talk about rape. It's kind of swept under the rug. One in six women who are raped are threatened with a weapon. But because they are so intimidated, they don't do, or 90% of women I'm sorry, um, let me start over. <laughs> okay, one in six women are survivors of rape. So if we went through this room and we counted all the women, there's 11 of us, so at least one of us, and if there was one more, two of us would probably, well not, not saying probably, but could have been raped in our life. And 90% of these rapes are committed by somebody that you know. It could be your mom's best friend, your dad's best friend, your aunt or your uncle. Anybody can rape you. And eight out of 10 rapes, there was no weapon used. That means it was just emotional threats or physical threats they never followed through with and did not have a weapon. These are some victims. Um, the girl in the middle, she is 18, and this is a picture taken after she was raped. Over here, these are actually American soldiers raping an Iraqi woman. These are the bruises left by the rapist. In here, in here. When 
if someone is raped, they don't decide, hey, I should probably go get a rape kit done. They are in shock. They are numb to everything. They do not know what just happened. They usually don't want to talk about it because they feel ashamed. They feel that they were weak because they let this happen. No one really knows why it happens, but a lot of things people say is that they were asking for it because the way they dress or the way that they act. You could be the biggest slut, but if you say no, that means no. You don't need, the person does not need to force you to do something you do not want to do. And basically, the you can't rape the willing thing pisses me off to no end. Because rape is unwilling, obviously. You're just being stupid when you say those kind of things. So people should think twice when they say this stuff. The media. Um, right here is an ad, and it's showing forceful sex. Two movies, we actually watched this in advanced health, or not advanced health, freshman health. And it's about a girl who's raped, and then people, she doesn't tell anybody, and they all are making fun of her. And she tries to push through it, which, pretty good of her. This movie just came out. There's two other ones, actually, of this movie. And then right here, everybody probably knows who this is. He actually raped somebody. It goes on a lot. And people, because they have money, or because of their fame, or what their name is, or who their parents are, they don't get in trouble for it. The solution. I say after an eye. If you rape somebody, you should be tortured the rest of your life because that victim has to live with it every day. And if you're joking around about it, you should get a $500 fine the first time it happens. I'm not gonna be nice to you about it because it's not something to joke about. Second offense, $1,000. Third offense, $2,500. And you have to listen to stories of rape for 10 hours. Get to know the victims and know what happened to them. And maybe you'll think twice before you make that little joke with your friends. Fourth offense, 90 days in jail with a $5,000 fine. This is basically something that I think everybody should win. It's the no means no. It started in Canada. They started this, they handed it out in schools, this little pamphlet. No means no. Not now means no. I have boyfriend or girlfriend means no. Maybe later means no. No thanks means no. You're not my type means no. F off means no. I'd rather be alone right now means no. Don't touch me means no. I really like you, but means no. Let's just go to sleep means no. I'm not sure means no. You or I have been drinking means no. Silence means no. No means no. If they say no, you better, if, even if you're in the act of it, if they say stop, you need to stop because that is right. I hope you guys all learn that rape is nothing to joke about and 